Hi everybody, as always, thanks for submitting your questions on our Facebook page. I'm Caitlin Burris, here again with Jim Bray to answer the next in the series of Stump the Scientist questions. Today's question came in from Nicool N, and he asked us, what is the difference between AC and DC power flow? Thank you, Caitlin. As Caitlin says, today's question is, what's the difference between AC and DC power flow? First of all, what does that stand for? AC stands for alternating current, and DC stands for direct current. And by current, we're referring to the flow of electrical current in a wire. Electrical current in a wire consists of the flow of electrons in the wire, and they are pushed by an electric field, also known as a voltage. So the electrons in the wire are responding to a voltage, being pushed by a voltage, and if they're being pushed back and forth, it's alternating current. If they're being pushed in one direction only, it's direct current. Now, to some it may seem odd that electrons which are only being pushed back and forth can deliver power from one place to another. Direct current may not be so mysterious because after all the electrons are traveling in one line from point A to point B in a direct current. In an alternating current, one can think of the following analogy. If I hold on to a rope, and I hold tightly, and I pull the rope through my hand in one direction, then you know what will happen. It'll heat up inside my hand, and if I do that hard enough, I can even get a rope burn. Now, if I take the same rope, hold it the same way, and pull it back and forth through my hand, it's going to do the same thing. It'll still produce heat, and I may still get a rope burn, even though I'm just pulling it back and forth. And electric current behaves in that way as well. In both the direct form and the alternating form, you can deliver energy or power from one place to another, hence the power flow. Now, in electrical engineering, in the world, we use both kinds of power, AC and DC. In the power lines that you see outside and in your home, that is usually AC, alternating current, because we can manipulate the alternating form more easily. However, all the power that comes out of the many batteries that you use in your flashlights and your computers are all DC. So we see that both forms of power are important and both give a power flow where we, where we need it. So Jim, thank you so much for explaining that to us. Nicole, hopefully that helped you out and gave you a little bit of insight into the differences between AC and DC power flow. Definitely helped me out, so thanks again, Jim. Thank you for your questions. Tune in next time for another series of Stump the Scientist.